Hi, I'm Nada with Smoking Cigar Girl, and today I'll be reviewing the La Gloria Cubana Serie R Natural No. 6. It's a 5 and 7 H by 60 cigar with an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, binder from the Dominican and Nicaragua, and a filler that comes from Nicaragua. The wrapper is very rustic looking uh, with really no prominent veins. The scent is very earthy uh, with some sweetness, a hint of chocolate. And the cold draw is very earthy as well uh, with a little bit of cocoa in there. There's a lot of rich earthy flavors on the forefront of the palate. Uh, I got a little bit of sweetness and there's a little bit of uh, wood on the finish. It's not very dry. Uh, it's just a little bit of maybe cedar and uh, maybe a little bit of pepper as well. I'll be back to discuss the first third in just a few minutes. The flavors in the first third of the cigar start out with a lot of earth on the front of the palate. It picks up a little bit of spice and then transitions into a finish of wood and spice. The draw is a little bit tougher than I normally prefer on my cigars. It's a little hard to get a, a good pull. The burn uh, is evening out, but early on it started to run a little bit uh, down one side. But uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's evening itself out. I haven't uh, relit it or touched it up at all. The ash is uh, great. It's holding on strong. Uh, there's a little crack in it, so I expect it to drop soon. But other than that, I've had no issues with the cigar so far. The second third of this cigar has a lot of earth and wood on the front of the palate. The finish is now mostly pepper with just a hint of wood, and it's a much longer finish now. The draw has opened up a little bit, but it's still somewhat of a tough draw. The burn is uh, still at the same spot as it was before. It's evened out uh, more than it was at the beginning of the cigar, but it's still uh, a little bit uneven. still haven't had to relight it though. The final third of this La Gloria Cubana Serie R Natural Number no. 6 has had a lot of earth on the front of the palate, and the finish has been mostly woodsy with a little bit of black pepper. The final third profile is a lot like the first third of this cigar. The cigar uh, still, dr the draw hasn't been very good, it's been a little bit tight, and the burn uh, is back to mostly even, though I had to touch it up a little bit at the beginning of the first third with a lighter. The ash has held on great throughout the whole cigar. I've only tapped it out twice, and I really haven't had any problems with the ash flaking off and blowing around a lot. The cigar is a medium-bodied cigar and a mild to medium-strength cigar. Typically, the 60 ring gauge cigars uh, are not as strong as their smaller ring gauge counterparts and don't have as much uh, strong flavor as their smaller ring gauge uh, cigars just because uh, smaller ring gauge cigars tend to have more wrapper and that's where a lot of the flavor of the cigar comes from. I'd like to thank users Orange Power T and D&J 1998 for recommending this smoke. This cigar would go very well with a smoother beer like a, a dark creamy porter or a wine without a lot of spice like a Pinot Noir. I'd love to hear from you if you have any feedback on this review as well as if you'd like to see any cigars reviewed in the future.